Glip gloss. That's also new. Glip gloss. Yes. It's new. What was the other one again? Oh yeah, bronzer. It's like a blurple. I was hoping this would be a shorter video today, but apparently... Well, hello my lovely nestlings and welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'm 44 from the Netherlands, hence the accent. And today another Let's Talk Makeup new makeup releases. This video series is based on Samantha March's Wall I Buy It series. Her playlist and the community playlist are both listed in my description box. My sources are also there. There are discount codes there. And the brands I'm going to mention today are there as well. So there's a lot of stuff in my des description box. It's very difficult to talk today. Uh, please go check. It out so if you want to know anything it's it's probably there and otherwise you can always ask me in the comment section the look that i have rocking today is actually look number one from the multiple looks video with the ayubia palette because i really wanted to film oh basically wanted to do a red look today and i thought let's be funky and pair it with a black lip although the lip that i have on is not that good so i'm probably going to top it off with a little bit of gloss in just a minute uh, but before i forget i kind of want to give a disclaimer Just so you know, this um, series that I have on my channel is me giving my opinion on new makeup releases and letting you guys know what is coming out um, and if I like it or not. Because yeah, you, you guys kind of seem to want to know that or something. Um, so yeah, but it could very well be that I um, say something negative about a brand or about a product uh, that maybe you do not agree with or if you are a brand owner that you don't agree with so let me go ahead by saying that these are my opinions they are not facts they are what i think and such this is also to quote nady from pop Lux, i will leave his channel down in the description box this is about the products not the people behind it so if you feel personally attacked don't because it's not personal it is solely on the product that i am looking at yeah okay now if you are okay with that keep on watching if you're not okay with that just click out the video because you are free to do that um was that everything that i wanted to say oh yeah you can probably hear the fan going on in the background because we are still in the heat wave mm. okay um what i also did though because so much is being released uh, so many new brands are coming out especially in the indie brand community it is just i cannot keep up guys if i want to and i want to actually talk about them all i just cannot because i found that lately i have been going more towards i don't know reporting on the beauty news uh, than me being able to kind of really say what i think about something you know and i don't really want to do that i I just want to talk about makeup. So uh, please keep on tagging me on Instagram. Send stuff that you find interesting through DM. But I cannot promise that I will talk about it. You know? But first let me kind of top it off with a little bit of glip gloss. Li glip gloss. That's also new. Glip gloss. Yes. It's newer. Mm. What was the other one again? Oh yeah. Bronzer. It's like a blurple. But then it's blush and bronzer. It's a bronzer. Mm. I, I am inventing new words. So yeah, mark my words, I will go places. I don't know what places, but yeah, downstairs later. So let me just put a little bit of lip gloss on. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that is not so cute. That is a little bit sad, actually. Let me fix that. Just a little. I told you this was not a very good lip. Then why not take it off, you ask, because I want to keep it on for this video. Because I feel like a rock star, like a rock star, I want to have this look. When I'm done filming, I will probably remove the black lip. I need to find me another one, because this one is not good. Just say. So, uh, I have quite some things to talk about. Uh, I did kind of edit it down already in my feed, so let's see how quickly I can go through it. Because I have been talking for about five minutes, and nothing really has happened, has it? So let me go to the side. <laughs> like this and let me start with this from uh, blending factory cosmetics it is a new release it is the uh, cleopatra's secret eyeshadow palette it is basically kind of a collection or first launch i actually believe it is and it is available already uh, if it is not sold out that is because it's the eyeshadow palette and then you get two types of falsies and the falsies are vegan um i think is silk oh no silk is not considered vegan is it I think they're silk. Just 
I am okay with silk. Just so I know. Um, so yeah, it's available already. I also have swatches of this. And it looks pretty. Um, yeah, I do like the color story. A little bit of a softer. You have some neutrals. You have some pops of color. I think it is a very pretty palette. Let me know what you think of it. Maybe you have even ordered it. Maybe you have even tried it. Because... Uh, yeah, it's the 10th as you are seeing this. So it has been available for about a week. Um, yeah, let's next go to mm, 80s Baby Cosmetics. Because you see here a picture of their pink, uh, pink party fanny pack bundle. Wow, it's very difficult today. And I have sticky black lips, which is also very difficult to talk. Because, you know, you see, they are. this is not sexy at all, guys. You know what I feel like now? You know those those kind of older movies? I'm going to typecast now. Where they it is based in Victorian England. And everyone you see who's not rich kind of has these types of teeth, you know? Yeah. Let me, let me fix this. I hope at least. Done. Who remember? I just, you know, I just went old school. And I, I used an eye pencil. Yeah. Like we did back in the day when we wanted black lips and there was no black lipstick. So, uh, I, yeah, I'm going to save this though for declutter. That is coming. I don't know when, but I'm going to fill my lipstick collection slash declutter. And uh, it's it's I'm saving it for that before I toss it because I don't think it's good anymore. So, yeah, uh, let's uh, what was I saying again? Oh, yeah, the pink, the 80s baby cosmetics, pink party fanny pack bundle. I still have sticky lips though. But yeah, now at least everything stays put, or at least I hope so. Um, this bundle comes with a pink neon fanny pack, indigo scrunchie, uh, lashes in two styles, a Trish mini palette. And the mini palettes are quads, and they have one pressed glitter in each quad. I think there are two quads, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Um, then you get uh, jelly eye glitters, uh, starburst, starburst lip scrub. Golden Girl and Material Girl Lip Gloss, a Pop Rocks and the Ring Pop. I don't know what Pop Rocks are. Are there? Uh, I think they're candy. I think. So yeah, this is so so uh, so bad that it is that it is funny actually. <laughs> I like this. I do remember the back in the day when fanny packs were cool. Yeah, I'm that old. I remember those days, people. Just saying. But I do really like this, guys. They have a bunch of stuff. Go check them out. I will leave all their information down below. I like this. Okay. Let's next go to uh, this. This is uh, to Fafi Beauty. Uh, this is their eyeshadow palette. And that's basically all I know. I don't have a lot of information besides the fact that it is black owned and African inspired and from the USA. Uh, that is it. I don't know when it will retail for. I don't even know if it is online. I can, yeah, of course, I can find out because I can visit the website. I just don't feel like it. You know, I have when I do that, and sometimes I do, but usually I do not because it takes a lot of time to search for that, and I need to edit that stuff out. And these videos already take quite some time to film and to edit. So I would appreciate it so so much. If brands would include that in the pricing, not just for me to talk about, but also for you who see this on Instagram and are like, oh, that is very cute. But what does it cost? When does it come? You know, if you are a brand, please include that in the post. And if you don't know, just say, just tell us so, because we don't mind, or at least I don't. But yeah, it does look very, very pretty. I like the color story. I think it is mattes and shimmers. But that is basically all I know. If you know this brand or have maybe more information for me, let me know down below. And if I feel like it, I will maybe look it up when I'm editing. But I don't think that I will. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be, I don't know, bitchy today. You know? The, hence the black lip. I'm, <laughs> let's go. Let's go next to this. This is the collaboration from Sydney Grace and uh, Mel Thompson, the Tiny Marvels eyeshadow palette. It retails for 52 bucks and it is currently sold out. It sold out quite quickly as I had actually expected it would. Um, when I saw this, I was like, oh, I really want to get this. I really, really do. And I had really thought about, it. you know, okay, if I get this, then I cannot get uh, a bunch of other stuff because it is pretty expensive 52 bucks is pretty expensive for an eyeshadow palette and it is from the us so i have to pay shipping 
uh, usually around 24 dollars uh, it kind of depends um and i have to pay import tax so it would kind of cost me around 100 bucks you know and that is just it's just too much and while i love this a lot i love the color story i love the whole vibe i love the aesthetic of the palette i uh had already decided that i wasn't going to purchase it because it is just too expensive for me maybe one day i do really want to try sydney grace um yeah you know and i don't know maybe maybe one day um I don't know if this will be limited edition or that they will kind of keep restocking it. it I think it is also uh, a question of how many, uh, how much it is wanted, if that makes any sense. I know they're working on a restock though. So if you are interested, go, go sign up for the restock. A huge congratulations to Mel, but also to uh, the brand for, for the collab. You know, I think it is an amazing collab. And I am glad that it sold out so quickly. Because that means that it was very well wanted, if that makes any sense at all. Okay, uh, let's next go to this from Sigma. I have a few things, things, things from Sigma. This is the first thing, because they have uh, collaborated with Robert Welsh on his favorite brushes. It is currently sold out, but they are working on a restock because i saw that on twitter and yes i'm on twitter I'm <laughs> i feel really bougie because i'm on twitter i don't know but yeah um there are basically six brushes in his set three face brushes and three eye, eye brushes now if i look at the brushes there are basically four that i would use uh, regularly uh, there is also a four uh, the 4d hd brushes included there and i already have that one and then the kabuki brush i would love to use it but but i hate with a passion cleaning foundation brushes hence that hence the fact that i use sponges so i think it is amazing that he got this opportunity and i love sigma brushes i love robert welsh i will leave his channel down below if you don't know i i'm sure you know of him but if you don't just go check him out, check him out he is a working mua from um the uk uh he's very talented he his whole kind of you know that dark gothy vibe i love that so so much and he just uh, he's amazing to watch because he's very laid back he's very um he explains everything very very well you learn from him and he i don't know it's just go check him out because he's amazing just 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 do so and then the next thing that i have from sigma is their new untamed collection it launches tomorrow and it is an eyeshadow palette uh, lip glosses a liquid lipstick and a brush set um I thought I had a picture because now I'm looking at a moving screen. Did I not have a picture? Yeah, but it's not a complete picture. Oh, I do really like the color story actually. Uh, and the, I saw the moving picture and I was like, yeah, I like the color story, but it is not really for me. Now I'm looking actually at the picture you are seeing here, which is, a, I think at least, which is basically a close up of the middle, well, the, the red, the green and the yellow shades. Uh, I really like the green and the yellow shade. I think those two for me stand out the most. I love mustard yellows. I love foresty, I don't know, grungy greens. And this for me is a natural color story. And with that, I mean, let's call it a nature color story. I think that is basically a better, better idea. I really want to try Sigma eyeshadows one day, but I don't think that this palette is it. Let's next go to... Oh no, my battery is low. Is it still recording? Yes, but I need to change it in just a minute. Okay, let's next go then to this from Juvia's Place. Juvia's Place was kind of sneaky about this. Um, as they kind of were with their lipsticks, I feel like, you know. Um, I think I saw it on Instagram and then I saw Angelica Nickvist talk about the lipstick. So I'll, I will leave her channel down below. Uh, I will also leave her uh, lipstick, I will leave her swatching video down below as well. Because she swatched uh, all the shades. Um, but yeah, I was on Instagram last Friday and I saw this pop up that uh, they had released three new mini palettes. And I checked it out and I ordered them. <laughs> I love the formula, I love their mini palettes, and I think the quality of the mini palettes is really, really good, actually. I have no problem whatsoever, and I really do like the color story of these three palettes. Now, the palettes retail for 14 bucks each. I use the code ANGELICA uh, to get 10% off, and I just kind of want to say, the last time that I ordered from... Uh, Juvia's Place was the uh, a bunch of their lipsticks. I um, used... When I go to order from Juvia's Place, I have three 
I have three um, options for shipping. I have the cheapest one, which is USPS. I have the middle one, which is FedEx. Hello, my darling. You are too cool for school. I have black lips. I am very sweaty. I squatted very heavy. Oh. I squatted the 74 reps. Mm. Four sets, five reps. Wow, good for you. Yes, that was very heavy. So go shower then now, honey buns. First, I, I first want to say. Hello. Yes. Hi. Oh. I need to shower because I need to walk the dogs in. Oh, oh yeah. Is it? It is. Yes, uh, I have hot. to walk the dogs in a half an hour because I get have to have the train on 12. Oh no! I go to my whammon. Oh, you go to your whammon. Okay, well, uh, shower with, I don't know, have fun showering. That was what I wanted to say. Um, and what else was I talking about? In, in case you are new, and I know I have some new people, that is my son. He likes to video bomb from time to time. And we are today in episode 97. Yes. In the 100th episode, we kind of want to do that together. So, yeah, that I think that will be fun. I'm not sure though, but I think it will be. So, if you want to see that, make sure that you have hit the subscribe button. If the button is red, then you have not subscribed yet. Why not? Because I'm so cute and hilarious and I don't know. But anyway, I was mentioning the shipping options. I was hoping this would be a shorter video today, but apparently... <laughs> Uh, the shipping option. So the last time I used actually the second uh, shipping option, which is then FedEx, I think International Express or something like that. It's the middle option. And it retails for me at least for, I think it was, say, 19 bucks. Um, when it got to me, it got to me actually pretty quickly. And I did not need to pay import tax because I, when I went to place my order, I got a pop-up saying that taxes were being calculated. Um, and I have never had that with Juvia's place before. So... I'm kind of hoping that if this this time that I ordered with Fe, uh, through with no that the shipping is going through FedEx again, I'm not hit again with uh, import tax. I think it is then included in the price because I know that for instance DHL had that option with Pure when I ordered the Raw Beauty Christie palette. Um, it said so that that was the reason that the shipping cost was a bit higher because the import tax that I should have to pay was included in the pricing already. So yeah, that kind of that that saves me money in the long run. So yes, I pay a little bit more in shipping, but ultimately it saves me a lot of money. So I kind of hope that ColourPop will will give us the option then pretty soon as well. It would save me. I don't know if if it will save me money in the long run because I will probably order from ColourPop more, but. Yeah, at least then I don't have that present when I get everything in, you know. And it is about, what is it? I think it is, uh, it's 10 euros handling fee. That's standard. And then it is, I think, 21% on the uh, price of the, the products that you pay for it, excluding the shipping. So it can kind of, yeah, depending on how high your initial... Uh, order is it can get pretty hefty pretty soon so yeah but to make a long story short i ordered these i'm waiting on them that was basically what i wanted to say my battery uh, yeah i can still do uh let's next go to this from beauty bakery makeup this is the um, ice cream paint job bakeware and apron collection i actually mentioned this quite some time ago that they sneak peeked it but i didn't know when it would when it would come uh it retails for 30 bucks Guys, this is so cute. The brush roll is an apron and then the brushes are utensils. Literal utensils. I love this so, so much. I love the whole vibe of Beauty Bakery. I don't know. It feels so, so sweet and nice. And I really want to try something from them and I will. Not just yet. Uh, I do really, really like this though. But I, you know, I think that if I would have this, I would want to display it somewhere. But that is me. Because I'm a sucker for cute packaging. Yeah. You see those eyeballs there? That's because of the packaging. And they're squishy. They're squishy eyeballs, people. You know? <laughs> I still need to get the third one. And I'm so bummed because the third one, the green one, is still available. But it is still at full price. And I refuse to pay full price for these. Because they were last year's release for Halloween from Makeup Revolution. So maybe... Uh, this year when they bring out their Halloween collection that I'm actually very very excited about because their collections are usually pretty fun maybe it will go on sale then um, so yeah and they're actually quite nice they're not fantastic but they are squishy eyeballs 
So who cares? Let's next go to this from Creepy Cosmetics. It's a new brand and this is their first eyeshadow palette. And she wants to do basically bath bombs. She has a jack-o'-lantern bath bombs on her Instagram and then this eyeshadow palette. And what I know is that she's based in the US. She's going to be launching on an Etsy shop so that usually Etsy ships internationally as well. The pricing will be revealed on launch day. And that is it. They also have a Facebook group. So if you are on Facebook and you want to kind of have the latest news on this brand, check out uh, or search for a Creepy Cosmetics on Facebook and you find their, their brand. I think this is very fun. This color story, be, because of the black, then the silvery gray, the orange and the purple, it screams Halloween for me. So give those shades... In a palette, it could be a pastel palette and have those bright shades in it, and I would still consider it a Halloween palette. Halloween is—is is it my favorite or is it tied with Christmas? Uh, we, yeah, yeah, we kind of we don't really celebrate Christmas. We celebrate more the Yule tide. We call it Christmas because it's easier. But yeah, I love decorating the tree. I love decorating my house for Halloween, but also for uh for yule so yeah i love those holidays so so much that yeah i i don't know if i can choose but yeah um i i really really like this guys and it's a new brand so i wanted to mention it let's next go to <sighs> can i fan with my right hand i'm basically i'm a lefty actually uh, so yeah, let's be bougie because I'm I'm hot. Yes, that's what she said. But I'm sweaty as well. I'm hot and sweaty. Let let's not go there. Let's uh, next go go to this brand and this is one of those things that is it is my opinion. It is about the product, not the brand. Please remember that. I don't want to bash the brand. Uh, this is Zainlik. I don't know how to pronounce it. I will put it on the screen. That's going to be the fanciest editing you will get from me today. Um, and this is a nine pen eyeshadow palette. And I think this is the blossom one. But I really like the color story. I really like uh, the whole vibe that they have going on. I like the artwork. I like the artwork of their entire collection that they have. And I like the color stories of their palettes. However, this is a nine pen eyeshadow palette, palette containing four pressed glitters. Now, for me, I don't use pressed glitters. Maybe, well, that's not true. I use pressed glitters maybe four times a year or something. Uh, I don't use them a lot at all. Uh, they usually irritate my eyes if I use them liberally. And if I use it higher uh, than, than this fold that you see here, it ends up there. So it's not really sexy unless that's the look I'm going for. Usually it isn't. Um, so I don't use pressed glitters a lot. Um, if you do love press glitters, this may be something for you. However, the other thing is the price. This retails for, I think this one retails for 40 bucks. There is another one that is also a nine pan palette uh, that I will show you that I really love the color story from as well. That has three mattes and I think, but I'm not sure, the rest are press glitters. This one retails for 50. How can I say this tactfully? I am going to try. This is... I think I'm going to fail though. This is just, I'm sorry guys, but this is just an insane high pricing for me. You know, uh, for someone who does not use pressed glitters, it's just, I am never going to pay this amount of money for a palette this small. You know, maybe if you love pressed glitters, this will be something for you. But I don't know, you know, for me... To, uh, even if I were to love pressed glitters, 50 bucks for an eyeshadow palette, 9 pen that contains so many pressed glitters, that pressed glitters have to be so freakishly special, that they are the best ever, that they, I don't know, glide on a one swipe wonder, I don't know, and pressed glitters just do not behave that way, so, yeah, I do... <laughs> love the color stories and i love the artwork i just don't understand why this is so expensive just saying so let me know down below your thoughts let me know if you have tried this let me know let me know if you think it is worth the money and if what is then so special about those press glitters because yeah you know uh, the mats could be the best you have ever tried but i have very good mats in my collection um Let me know. 
let me know your thoughts down below let's next go to this from a becca muse cosmetics it is their is it their first release I don't think so. It is their new eyeshadow palette, basically. It retails. Uh, it's 18 shades. It's available now for pre-order for 28 bucks. The sale price, the regular price, is 35 US dollars. It's a gorgeous palette. I love the color story in this. Uh, blues are not not my favorite color to work with, but these blues that are in here, yeah, maybe there are one or two that I'm like, yeah, I don't really like those types of blues that much. But overall, I do really like the color story. So yeah, let me know down below um, if you know the brand, if you have ever tried the brand. It looks very, very pretty, guys. I have hairs everywhere, yes. Okay, let's next go to something that I'm very, very interested in as well, which is from Nomad Cosmetics. It is the Orient Express palette. And it is on its way to me in PR. I hope... To, uh, to get it really really soon because I'm very very excited about this palette Now I know that she kind of always does a little something something in the shades She even, I don't know how she does it But she even manages to get that little something something in her mats as well So I'm very curious I love the formula uh, of everything that I've tried so far So I cannot wait to get it And this Palette already has a name. She is called Georgette. Um, because the George that I have, let me put up the picture so you kind of get a little bit of sense why I'm going to call it George. When I saw that George was, was sneak peeked by his maker, the, the Pastel Skeletor, um, the first thing I said was, Ooh, I can pet it. I'm going to love it and pet it and call it George. So that is George. And I still love George because George is gorgeous on the outside, George is gorgeous on the inside. Unlike his maker. Um, but yeah, he's he's kind of... Because his maker is a little bit of a persona non grata on my channel here. I don't really pull out George anymore. And it is a shame because it's a very pretty palette. Um, so yeah, I kind of have a new George now. And actually the funny thing was that Felicia said to me... Felicia is um, uh, one of the older owners from Nomad Cosmetics. They are... Um, a couple I, I the the word i don't know why the word was so difficult but yeah they are married and husband and wife and felicia is is the wife and uh, she uh, kind of said well maybe you can pet this one as well and i was like yeah maybe i can but uh, i really can so this is going to be georgette and georgette is on its way to me and i will give her a nice home and i will display her i will pet her i will love her and when she is here i will do an ice watch video i will do multiple looks videos and i will give you my review because That is what I want to do with this palette. So yeah, I hope it arrives very, very soon. Um, let's next go to Ace Boutte. Uh, because they have launched their Nostalgia palette. And it has launched uh, last Friday. I was actually... Uh, I actually really wanted to order this. Uh, it retails for 40 US dollars. I really wanted to order this, but I was like, you know what? I know it's coming to Europe, but I really, really love, love this color story. I do like, uh, I actually really like the Ace Boutte formula as well. Uh, although I like the shimmers of the Paradise Collection better than the shimmers of the Flare and the Oceanic. I prefer more of the, mm, I don't know, foiled uh, formulas instead of the ones that have micro glitter in them because sometimes you have uh, shimmers that have that 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 micro glitter thingamajingy in it uh, and they have a few of those and i i don't really mind those but it's not my preferred formula if that makes any sense and they said that they have reformulated and that this formula is better so i'm so curious about this i love this color story so so much now unfortunately someone asked um uh, when it would come to Beauty Bay, and it was going to take months, they said. So maybe I'm just going to suck it up, but I know I will get this palette when it comes here. Maybe I just need to order it, because I don't know if I want to wait three or four months for it to finally come here. Um, let me know your thoughts. Uh, it ships with USPS. Um, so yeah. That was actually the reason that I hadn't ordered it uh, immediately. Because I was like, yeah, by the time it gets to me here from America, I can probably get it from Beauty Bay. But apparently not. So I know that Boozy Shop had Ace Boutte. I don't know if they will get this palette though. So maybe I will ask them 
first before I make up my mind because I really, really like this color story a lot. And this could actually be a nice, um, this could actually be very nice instead of my mini jawbreaker. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Bling. Yeah. So let's go. Let's go to the next one because this is going to be way too long as it is. As it is, unfortunately, every time. Let's quickly go to this then, or at least I try to be quickly. I mentioned this brand for the first time on my channel last week because I had never heard of them before. This is the brand Shared Planet, and I also mentioned that they were coming out with a new release. This is their new release. This is their what was it called again? Their Sea Turtle Highlighter Palette. It consists of five warm golden shades. But I don't see the warm golden because I, I see the colors. But I also see green and blue. It does remind me of kind of oceanic underwater colors though. So yeah. Um, and kind of sea turtle colors as well. Um, it is designed to complete all skin tones. It's available now for purchase and it retails for 44 US dollars. I think then that they are all shimmers. I do love the look of this. I really like how this looks. I like the aesthetic of the brand. Um, the palette is limited edition, but I will leave the site down below. Let me know if you have ever tried anything from them. I'm curious. Okay. Um, Let's next go to this, uh, Sample Beauty. Uh, this is a collaboration between Sample Beauty and Beth Painter Makeup on uh, Instagram. That's what she's called. And this is the Painter's Palette. It's 35 vegan shades. You get a combination of mattes and shimmers. It is available today on samplebeauty.com. I just don't really know what time. They are based in the UK. And it will also be uh, online on their exclusive retailer, Beauty Bay. Um, so I don't really know uh, what time though. But yeah. I like the colors that are in here. It is just the way that this one is laid out. It doesn't make sense to me. But I am not a painter. I am a very... No, I'm a very creative person, um, but no, I, I, I'm trying to make sense of it by rows, but I, I just, I can think of maybe two or three looks that I would do with this and then I would be stumped. And that is kind of weird for me, especially with a larger palette. So for me, well, I love the, the colors that are in here, the way that it is laid out. It doesn't work for me, at least. But maybe it does for you. I do see this appealing to a lot of people. Uh, what I understand is that the, uh, the quality of Sample Beauty is very, very nice. So yeah, I don't know. I haven't tried anything from them, from them yet. But let me know your thoughts down below. Let's quickly go to this from Spoiled Lips Cosmetics. This is their Oh Abby um, and Spoiled Cosmetics. Oh Abby. So it's a collab, I think, between O Abby and Spoiled Cosmetics. I don't know, but it retails for 34 bucks. It looks very pretty. I really, this is a color story that I can see stuff happening when I look at it. Uh, it contains mattes and shimmers, two press glitters. It's a larger palette, so I'm kind of okay with it then. Um, yeah, it looks very, very pretty. Let me know if you have tried Spoiled Cosmetics. Maybe you have even tried uh, this palette. Let me know down below. Okay, let's next go to this. This is uh, Devora Cosmetics. They are launching soon. It's a new brand and it's an Aussie based brand. That is what I wanted to mention. Now, I saw on her Instagram that she is working... Oh, I have an itchy eyeball. Uh, that she is working on colorful eyeshadows and multi-chromes. So, so she is busy behind the scenes uh, basically making everything. And yeah, when I know... More I will let you know, but I will leave the information where you can find the brand down in the description box. Let's next go to this from uh, Spellbound Beauty because this is their Beauty Siren Eyeshadow Palette. It retails for 20 bucks and it is available now. It is cruelty free and vegan. They're a very small brand, very new. Uh, they have lippies, a few eyeshadow palettes and then this one. Um, it is not specifically something that I'm going to get now because there are other things that I kind of want more and there's quite some things coming into my collection but it is a brand that i'm following and definitely keeping my eye on so yeah let me know your thoughts down below let's quickly then go to this from lucky bunny cosmetics it is well basically she's working on her next palette which is the gluttony it's the third installment in her sinners series i have her first two eyeshadow palettes i also have a discount code and i forgot to say i also have a discount code for nomad cosmetics both will be linked down in the description box 
I am on both of their PR lists as well. So I'm also on the PR list for Lucky Bunny Cosmetics. I think I'm getting this palette in PR. I think at least. Um, but if not, I'm going to order it anyway. Because I just love this brand. She is also Aussie based. Um, she's a one woman show. She's very, very sweet. She has more than just eyeshadow palettes. So definitely go check her out. Uh, the first two palettes I did a bunch of videos with. Um, and... The quality is very, very good. Just saying. And the quality of her second palette is better than one of, than the one of her uh, first palette. So I'm actually curious to see if she tweaked this one even more. So yeah. Um, when I know the color story and have more information, I will mention it again. Uh, let's next go to uh, this from... Uh, what is this called again? Yeah, the Stacey Marie MUA um, collab with Be Perfect Round Number 3. This is their Love in Tahiti uh, carnival palette this looks so pretty and this for me makes sense because i have green then i get brown orange red purple you know it, this this makes sense for me and uh, this basically i think that if you have this palette that you could just use this palette for a very very long time without getting bored you know uh, the palette will retail for 50 us dollars um you get 31 mats four duo shifts three metallics and then two highly uh, pigment shimmers two four duo shift pressed pigments I don't really know what they mean by that. But yeah, the, the collection also includes highlighters, uh, which sound very interesting. And glosses. Yeah, lip glosses. Um, lashes and a mirror. It will be available um, on in August uh, and this week, I think. So yeah, and it kind of says that if you are subscribed to their newsletter... Uh, before midnight today, there will be a special, I think you get early access. So maybe, I don't know, maybe it will launch on Friday. But if you have the, the, the link that is then in the email, you can get early access. Something along those lines, I think it will be. I am very much, can I dupe this? Yeah, probably. But I am very interested because I'm still kind of looking for a replacement of my uh, basically jawbreaker palette. Mm, the brights that are in there and then especially the shimmers because the mattes I can kind of do but the shimmers are yeah there are some shimmers in there that are just oh they are so good but yeah, it's it's the maybe I will no I won't depot it. Uh, but yeah, it is the way it is. So I I will get there eventually. But it does look pretty. I'm kind of not I kind of haven't made my mind up yet if I want to get this or not. I kind of do, but I also kind of want maybe the Ace Booty one a little bit more. But this I will maybe this one is better for my channel because this one I will have quicker than the Ace Booty one. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, let's next go to. Is it quick? Uh, no. Uh, let's go to Makeup by Tammy. Uh, because she has started her own cosmetics line. She is starting with cake liners that are water activated. She also released some brushes. The cake liners retail for five uh, pounds each. Have you tried them? And I actually don't know. Is there a difference in cake liners? Because these are five pounds. But there are also some that are, I don't know, 20 pounds. And I, or something like that. And I'm like, what's the difference then? Kinda, you know, basically for me, cake, cake liners are like body paint, like water activated body paint. Uh, and I have water activated body paint and that is why I have never tried a cake liner. So my battery was empty, uh, so I don't really know where I was. But yeah, uh, I think I was saying that uh, cake liners are not really something that have my attention. Uh, but maybe they have yours. Let me know down below. And let's next go to this from Killer Queen Cosmetics. Uh, this is their Ouija board palette. Ouija boards scare me shitless. <laughs> but I do like... I, I do love the way that they look. So yeah, I, the very, very pretty outside. But the palette is also... Oh, this is so stunning. It is so, so gorgeous. And I was all... I was like, I, I think I'm going to get the palette. Until I actually saw what it retailed for. Because it retails for 55 US dollars. And maybe it is totally worth it. The price is what's stopping me in this occasion. Because it's just the same as I said with uh, the Sydney Grace palette. 
it is from the US I have to pay the pallet I have to pay the shipping tax and I will will get hit with import tax usually so it will m make this pallet then almost 100 bucks and that is just that's just not worth it for me uh, which is a shame because I really 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 like this color story a lot uh, maybe they will have a Black Friday sale you never know hmm. but it's pretty gorgeous let me know down below if you have tried this um and uh, yeah i would i would love to get this in pr hint hint mm. <laughs> i won't but you know let's throw it out there in the universe who knows you know so <laughs> let's next go to this from colored rain this is their new palette it's the juicy boost palette uh it launches the 14th of august um, and it retails for 52 bucks Now when we saw this sneak peek a, a lot of people were like Oh maybe it's an eyeshadow palette and then a face palette You know or a, a few different eyeshadow palettes It's not It's it's the same eyeshadow palette Only <clears throat> you can kind of choose which layouts you want Do you want it in one palette Or do you want it in kind of a book palette Like uh, the pure raw beauty Christie one was Yeah and I'm kind of like why yeah i i really don't understand why they did this um just do one or the other you know uh i do like the color story though there are uh it is matte heavy so there are just a few uh shimmers or maybe that they could have done that they could have done i don't know one side matte and then the other side shimmers you know that would have made sense more actually than this in my opinion but it is my opinion let me know down below what you think of it it is not something i was kind of sad when i saw it because i was like oh i'm very curious maybe it's the first time that i will try them no it's not um no it's not something that i am interested in purchasing but maybe you are i do hear nothing but good things about the color drain formula so maybe it is definitely worth it for you and maybe you are rejoicing let me know down below was that the last thing that i had yeah that was the last thing that i had for this week so maybe i can kind of keep it under 45 minutes then probably not <sighs> So yeah, I try to edit it down, but you know what it is, uh, and that is that is one of the reasons that I started this video or this series because I really want to talk about makeup. I don't want to just report on makeup. Um, I tried that, and it is not really for me. So yeah, sometimes I do that just because I want to name a brand and bring your attention to the fact that the brand exists and kind of what they have, you know. And sometimes I don't really have an opinion. Yeah, that was basically it. Um, also, usually I give a shout out. See, I did not forget. Yay me. Uh, um, you also need to do two, both sides. Otherwise you go crooked like that. At least that's what we always say. Um, but yeah, none of my uh, Nestling members have commented with the hashtag Nestling. So I'm just going to... Well, I don't have a specific shout out this week. But I do want to take this opportunity to thank all my nestlings every single one of you who watches my video every single one of you who clicks on the thumbs up or even the thumbs down because the thumbs down is also engagement so guys thank you so so much for coming to my channel and taking time out of your day to watch me and commenting and you know it just means so much that uh, when I started, uh, what was it, two years ago? Oh, yeah, I think it's two years ago. I never thought that I would be here going to 4,000 subscribers. Um, and yeah, I, I definitely am well aware that you are all people and it is not just numbers. There are real people who find me interesting enough to come back to my channel regularly and watch me talking to a camera you know it's just it's still mind-boggling it's just amazing so thank you so so much and um yeah a lot of you make my day on a regular occasion is that good english no it's not and i need to stop because my brain is melting so yeah Again, I think I said that for five or six times already. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. I am going to wish you a fantastic day, a fabulous evening. May your foundation always match your neck. And I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.